What's good, y'all? Andres here, also known as Mad Cal, also known as Bovine. Today, I wanted to break down this soulful type beat, kind of like a Rick Ross feel, you know, with a lot of live real instruments on it, you know, real dreamy. Like, I don't know, I would say like ethereal, you know, like something that's real beautiful. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. Come on. Now, anytime, personally, when I'm trying to go soulful, trying to go, you know, authentic, realistic sounding, I end up always using the upright piano here in Keyscape. So I came up with this progression. Let's go ahead and give it a listen now. Right under that, I pulled up another instance of a upright piano from Keyscape, but this is the mono preset on there. And I just have it to fill up that space even more. moving right along the next one is a Rhodes uh, classic preset from Keyscape I have that little da, 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 da part on the intro part but then once the uh, upright pianos come through I just have the chords playing under both of those Now these soulful type of beats do great with a lot of, you know, realistic sounding instrumentation. So I pulled up a violin from the BBC Symphony and came up with this small kind of a lead sound. On top of that single violin, I put another instance of violins. Uh, this is violin two. It has two different type of violins in the plugin. So one is violin one, one is violin two. This one, I did the chord patterns as well. And this one's just kind of more in the background, just filling it up, making it sound as beautiful as possible. to add like a little bit more of pizzazz, a little more sauce, a little more flavor, a little more heartburn. Instead of making my own ARP sound, I just had this one that I downloaded a while ago from Splice that I knew would sound good on top of this. So I put it on, put it in the right key and just added more to that, you know, ethereal feeling. Is that the right word I'm using? Let me know in the comments if that's the right word. Also from Splice, I got this vocal chop, kind of drowned it in some reverb. And that pretty much takes care of all the instrumentation besides the bass line. For the bass line, it's just following the root notes with a couple, um, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? Not downs and uppies. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? My brain is off. It's like passing notes. There's a word for it and I know it. And for some reason, I can't think about it. But once you see it, you'll get it. And someone in the comments, let me know what it's called. Up and downies. Yeah, you know, you know what we know. We're going to call them up and downies. There's some down and uppies in the bass line here. <laughs> Just for the starting of the beat, I found this nice bass slide. All right, starting with the drums, I'm gonna start with the snares just cause I use two different type of snares. These are like more like snare hits.
Naxxon drums is a kick, just a nice little pattern. Real quick on the kick pattern, some of these kicks, the velocities changed. So it kind of gives it like, some people call it a ghost kick, but it's, you know, it's like, so it doesn't sound again, you know, as monotonous, like, oh, here comes the kick again. Kind of gives it this nice bounce to it. Almost like when you do hi-hats and you know, like you mess with the velocity, so it doesn't sound like, ta -ta 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 -ta. it's like, y'all get what I'm saying. All right, for the hi-hat, it's just hitting, the close hi-hat's hitting on every beat, and then the open hat is just hitting where I thought it sounded dope. And finally, and yes, I checked this time because my last two videos, I keep saying this is the final sound and there ends up being like two, three little details, but I'm pretty positive this time. This is the last sound. Um, it's just a shaker and the shaker's kind of off time. It's just giving it a nice, you know, swing to it, a nice rhythm. Kind of kind of just layered in the background. Like you can still hear it, but it's not like overpowering in my opinion. But yeah, that's the full beat. Before we give it a full listen, I do want to let you guys know I have a Discord server. I will be uploading this loop here here without the drums as well as ones from previous beats and other ones that i haven't made uh videos for so if you enjoy this you want to come through uh download these loops come say hi come hang out I, i've also added some sections for you guys to drop loops there's uh r and you know r and b loops there's boom bap loops sections there's um you know west coast so forth all that great way for us producers and artists to be able to share build a foundation and keep growing as creative individuals so yeah if you want to join the discord and hang out the link will be in the description as well there's also a link to a free gospel soulful loop kit that i made on my discord as well it's under the packs by bovine channel also i recently dropped a song called loud mouth you want to check that out the link will be in the description for that as well but besides all that i appreciate you guys for checking out this video now let's go ahead and give this beat a full listen i'll catch y'all next time peace